What's up guys? Today I'll be teaching you how to Seriously, huh? Bro, come on. side or the left side depends if you're right-handed or left-handed if you're right-handed I would do it this way if you're left-handed I would do it this way so yeah now let's go in with the tutorial so first all we need is one ball so grab your ball and let's start juggling what you're going to want to do is you're just, so you don't want to do it like Mills and Mets. That will be completely wrong, which I'll be doing that trick in the next tutorial. What you want to do is you want to throw it over. So you'll have your hands like this, like you're juggling regular, but you'll throw it over and you want to move your other hand under. So be like, and your right hand or whatever hand you're doing it with will go to the other side like this. So practice that for a little bit, then we can move on to two balls. We'll be going on to two balls right after this. And always, if you need to practice something, always just pause the video it's fine if you need to pause it sometimes so yeah so next we'll need two balls what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to so you're gonna do that same throw that we did last time but you'll just do it and practice catching it regular after you do that like five times or something then, instead of catching it with both of them in this hand, you want to throw it, throw the other ball to the hand that crosses over. So, like that. And then just try that a couple times. Do it until you're good with it. And the thing is, you're, after you cross it, I always like bring my hand over. I don't always keep it there. I always like bring it over some so that I can get ready to do the other throw. So after you can do that super good, just practice it. Cause if you can't do it with one or two balls, how would you be able to do it with three? Like, you wouldn't be able to at all. So even if you tried, it wouldn't work if you can't do that. And if you can't do this. So just do it, do it until you're super good at it with two balls and one ball. But then if you're good, then we can move on to the third ball let's go so with three balls you're gonna want to start like we did last time so one two and you should say so try to get some different colored balls like orange blue gray i'll throw the orange one <laughs> first then the oh i missed that was pretty sad. So you're gonna wanna throw it, but then you can tell if you did it right by the colors. If you do it with two balls twice, it should be, if you do it once, it should be like this. If you do it twice, it should be like this. But instead of just doing those two, what you wanna do is you wanna go like this. One, two, bring the other one over. One, two, and throw it so it'd be like 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And with left hand, it would be like one, two, three. Wait, I'm not good with lefty. Uh, one, two, wait. So with left hand, it would be like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it would just keep going on forever until you dropped, like I just did. But you want to do it with your right hand. Then after you have the third one, you want to pull the, that one out. So you'll do it a couple times. So first try to do it with six catches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, I did seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can just do it as long as you want with each side. And this trick, if you've been wanting to learn the trick called Mill's Mess, then this trick, the windmill, will really help you learn it. So I recommend learning this trick before you try to learn Mill's Mess because Mill's Mess is basically just the windmills on both sides and then you can do different types of mills mess you can do these in my tutorial with mills mess next tutorial i'll also be teaching you how to do the extended version of mills mess which looks like this where you do like different throws juggling with your arms crossed and then windmill was also just a super good trick to learn it'll, it'll your audience will like it and it will be super cool and it's super satisfying so that's all i have for today make sure you hit that like button and subscribe